Covering news where you live, this is 5 News. Well, thank you for joining us here for the latest news and weather where you live. I'm Joe Ellison. Election day is finally here and this midterm, Arkansas will decide who will be their next governor. It's one of the top races in Arkansas. Voters can choose between Republican Sarah Huckabee Sanders, Democrat Chris Jones or Libertarian Ricky Dale Harrington Jr. We also have four issues on the ballot that you'll see when you go to vote. You can see them right here on your screen. There we go. Take a look. Issue one grants the state legislatures the ability to call a special session, a power currently held by the governor only. Taking a look at issue two, that would increase the majority vote to approve state constitutional amendments from 50 percent to 60 percent. Taking a look at issue three, which would ban state government bodies from burdening the practice of religion, except in certain circumstances. And issue four concerns the legalization of recreational marijuana. All right, before we get to more on election coverage, let's get a check of the weather out there with meteorologist Zach Scott. Zach, what can people expect as they're heading out to vote today? Hey, Joe. So overall, it's a great day. Uh, again, for November standards, temperatures are really mild, and we could see some nasty weather. You could have cold weather. You could have rainy, stormy weather. We could see it all, but we're seeing the nice side of uh, fall come in. We do have that low rain chance, mainly for your a.m. hours on Tuesday. We're talking about far northwestern Arkansas, most of the activity into northeastern Oklahoma, but the rain chance is low, but it's there. You can't quite roll out a stray shower or sprinkle, a brief one far northwestern Arkansas, mainly during the a.m. hours. Overall, election day forecast, again, nice. We started out cloudy. We're looking for sunshine to mix in as we go deeper into the day. Temperatures getting into the 70s. Overall, going to be in the lower to mid-70s, topping out northwestern Arkansas, widespread mid-70s across the River Valley. And we'll look for another mild night as we go overnight into Wednesday. Temperatures well above the average for this time of year. Seasonal average for northwest Arkansas. Climatologically speaking, we should be closer to 38 degrees. Yeah, we're well above of that over 20 degrees warmer and we're supposed to be more in the lower 40s or probably be more in the lower 60s going into Wednesday morning for the River Valley. Another mild start Thursday, but a strong cold front comes crashing in as we go Thursday late afternoon and evening. We'll wake up in northwest Arkansas 30s on Fridays, 20s into the weekend. Yeah, we had a big freeze a week or two ago. We've had mild weather since then. We've got another big freeze coming in. Temperatures will be into the 30s and 20s for the River Valley as we get into the weekend. We'll also have a chance for some showers and thunderstorms late Thursday. We'll keep our eyes on that forecast as we uh, go through the next couple of days. Joe. Well, in Arkansas, polls are now open. Voters have until 730 tonight to cast their ballots in this election. Now, you can vote anywhere in your county, but when you go to vote, don't forget you'll need to have a photo ID with you. An Arkansas driver's license, U.S. passport, military or school ID, concealed carry license or your voter ID card are all accepted. And if you need a ride to the polls, don't worry. Area bus lines are making that a bit easier. Bus rides are free for four Fort Smith Transit riders all day today. Just use the Route Shout 2.0 app to plan your trip. Now in Northwest Arkansas, Ozark Regional also offering free rides. You can set up your ride at Ozark.org. And to find out everything you need to know about the elections in Arkansas and in Oklahoma, including where to find your nearest polling site, all you have to do is just text the word right here, vote to the number on your screen, 479-785-5000. We'll send you back our local election guide with information on each of the candidates for governor and those four issues that are currently on the ballot. Plus, we'll have continuing coverage of elections all day at at 5newsonline.com. All right, in other news, a major expansion is being planned at the Ream plant in Fort Smith. Our content partner, Arkansas Business, is reporting the company announced yesterday a $20 million expansion. This expansion, they expect, will create 100 jobs and increase production capacity there at the plant. Plans also call for a training and innovation center to be added. Meanwhile, the city of Gravit is holding a ribbon cutting for a newly installed story walk that's at Hawassi Park. Now, now this story walk is a set of 18 displays. Those are all stationed along the walking trail there at the park. Each display features pages from a children's picture book. Guests will be able to read that entire book by stopping at each station. Karen Benson is the library director for the Gravit Public Library and thinks this will be a positive addition to the community. 
It combines uh, physical fitness with literacy, uh, particularly early childhood literacy. And uh, we think it, it's just a great addition to this wonderful park and will give children a, a head start on reading and, um, and some family time. Now, she also tells us a new book will be installed each month there at the park. Well, those are some of your top headlines and news on this election day. Of course, we'll continue to follow the news all day. We'll have full election coverage coming up today on your five news at four, five, six, and then at 10. Of course, catch up with us again tomorrow morning on Wednesday on your five news this morning. That starts at 430. I'm Joe Ellison. Have a great day.